Okay, so I'm back at my blank template for a poster. I'm going to insert some text after I change my background. Um, I'm going to do volleyball. And I'm just going to make my background yellow because St. Paul's yellow and blue. So add some text. I'm going to write the word volleyball since that's what it's about. And change the size by using the numbers or you can just use the corners to make it larger there. Position it where you guys feel it looks the best. You guys can go through and change the font. One thing I want you to be careful about is seeing this crown that means premium and we're not paying for premium. So make sure that everything you're doing is the free version. From there, go to elements. You can add in icons and shapes as well as photos. So in icons and shapes, you can search for different words. So I searched for volleyball to find this. If I want to search for football, I can find some football stuff there. So keep that in mind. Um, when you're searching just to make sure that you're finding the free version of stuff and not the premium version. Once you guys have done that, the way to download it, to save it, to upload it, you click this button. If you hover over it, it says download. So go ahead and click that. You want to make sure that when you download it, you're downloading it as a PDF print. This is basically just the highest quality and it'll look the best when I go to print these out and give them to the actual sponsors for the activities and sports. So when you click that, click download, Make sure that everything's free. It will save it on your computer just like a screenshot. When you go to the assignment, you upload it just like a screenshot. Um, but really, it's not too crazy. This shouldn't take you guys too long. I want you to make it look good. But if you get frustrated with something, just delete it, hit the trash can, and open something else. Delete it, open something else. Um, that would be my biggest advice to you guys. So let's say in photos, I'm going to search for the word volleyball. And it comes up with a few ones. You can tell that these ones are premium or pro. This one will charge me money if I want to use it. So if you accidentally have one like this on there, it's not going to download correctly. So I really want you guys to be cautious when you're looking at photos to click the free ones. You can go through and add some different effects to it. You can change the filter. You can crop it, adjust it, all those fun things. So just keep that in mind also when you're looking at pictures. So if you guys have any questions, it's not meant to be hard, just meant to give you guys an insight on another technology tool that you guys can use for some of your classes if you were to make posters or whatever. Um, Canva, this website, also allows you guys to do a lot of different things like creating logos, videos, presentations, some more infographics like our timelines that we did, resumes. You guys can look through it and see all these different things you guys can make. So, but. Yeah, it should be pretty easy. Send me an email if you have any questions. Otherwise, have a great day. All right. Hi, 7th grade. This is the video just to show you guys how to set up your Canva account. Basically, all you guys need to do is go to canva.com, click sign up, and it'll bring you to this page where you click sign up with Google since we have Google accounts. Make sure you click your Wildcat email if you have a couple on there. From there, it'll bring you to a home page. Basically, this is a free version. Um, we've got it free for 30 days. So just close out. We're going to create a design. We're going to be making posters, actually. So when you click create a design, go ahead and select poster. From there, it'll give you some templates that you can choose. These are already pre-designed, and you can just go through and edit and change what you want. Sometimes you can edit more than others. Um, I kind of like to start with a blank one.